about the suffering. So therefore, we are suffering more by doing any sorts of things. Even the sometime we may be doing something very good. For example, the practicing generosity or practicing the preliminary practice and uh, practicing mantras and tantras and uh, yogas and all these things, which are supposed to be a very good practices, a very good thing for uh, getting rid of sufferings. But it may cause, uh, cause a, a suffering. It may create a suffering by doing these things, which, which is most likely not. I mean, hopefully it, it, won't, it won't do that, but it, it, it's possible. It's possible. The Buddha Shakyamuni himself said that, you know, Dharma should be done. Dharma means, you know, the, 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 his teaching or whatever, the Dharma. Dharma should be practiced uh, carefully, otherwise Dharma will create a drama. You know, that means the Dharma will create, uh, create a problem. The Dharma may create a problem. This is what Buddha Shakyamuni said also. So it's a kind of understandable for us also that, you know, if we don't really get rid of the ignorant, and without getting rid of ignorant, we do whatever, whatever we do. I mean, the mundane things, of course, but the spiritual things, religious things, also get into a trouble. I mean, it, there is a tendency to get a, to get a lot of, to to create a lot of problems out of uh, the religious things. It's a, it's happening here also in this world. You know, a lot of religious religion religion creates a lot of problems in this world. We we can we can see it. I mean, not only not I mean, yeah, right. So, uh, uh, what is this? There's no air in this or whatever. No air. <laughs> It's a little stuffy, isn't it? <laughs> That's a suffering. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, so. Uh, mm. um, so that's the. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it can, it can, so ignorant is the one that we have to understand. That is the suffering. Ignorant itself is the suffering. Suffering has a, the, 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 the different levels, you know, the different levels of sufferings we have. So, of course, uh, uh, we are suffering here a little bit because of, uh, you know, uh, heat and stuffy being, being stuffy. That kind of suffering is, is just a, a gross suffering. It is a kind of suffering that it's a, a kind of, let's say, easy to get rid of, actually. Uh, but then there's a suffering that it's a little subtle than that. And the really real subtle suffering is the ignorant that we don't know. It's a very subtle, too subtle. Uh, so therefore, we sometimes we don't know what is, uh, what's wrong with us. We sometimes feel that we are quite OK, but we are not OK. And uh, we create a lot of things unknowingly. We create a lot of bad, uh, if you like, karma. You can use karma, but uh, you, can, you can use any kind of terminology. But we can create a lot of uh, mess in, the, in our society without knowing anything, without, or maybe the intentionally, intention was good, maybe. But then, you know, it turns out to be a very bad. It's because it's ignorant. It's, 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 it's created by, uh, from the ignorant. So the ignorant that is creating that sort of things itself is a, is a subtle and uh, primitive, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, yeah, subtle sufferings. So this is the thing that we have to get rid of. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, so actually what really we have to understand in this, uh, in this field is that, um, uh, how do you say, mm, not knowing, not knowing your suffering itself is a suffering, you know? Or not wanting, you know, the, n not wanting to know, you know, that uh, to know or to come across uh, your s real suffering is, is itself is a suffering. So uh, uh, this is what Buddha Shakyamuni uh, want us to know, to start with. 
And then after understanding that, then uh, you will understand that what to get rid of uh, in order to get rid of this, uh, this suffering. So of course the suffering, the, the gross suffering and uh, subtle suffering and really uh, basic suffering, all these uh, three categories of sufferings will be able to um, diminish, will be able to sort of, uh, how do you say, yeah, diminished, okay. Um, um, through actual, um, through actual practices um, of the, uh, of uh, whatever you may call it, like uh, um, meditation, you know, the uh, co uh, contemplations and meditation. But of course, you have to understand, first of all, you have to understand what to meditate on and what not to do, what, what to do. You know, you have to have a discriminating kind of wisdom to, in order to do so. So in order to have that discriminating wisdom, you need to have, uh, you need to have uh, some knowledge built uh, uh, within yourself, and which is, of course, uh, the knowledge of, knowledge of knowing uh, the source, the cause of the suffering, which is the ignorant. You know, the, the ignorant is something that we have to understand. Where, what is really the ignorant and what is really uh, the, the, the effect of ignorant? And uh, what is, uh, what, how, how does it work? Uh, this is something we should understand. And whereas right now, we don't, ha we don't understand about the ignorant. And uh, therefore, we have a lots of uh, uh, pride. Uh, all the different religion has a different, different kind of pride. All the different uh, people has a different kind of pride. And even the, even the let's say, the practitioners also has a different pri pride. And so therefore, the Buddha Shakyamuni said, you know, the first of, in the, 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 mm, the most important uh, emotions, if you want, uh, um, to, to avoid, uh, or the, the sort of very crucial kind of emotion that you have to avoid is the pride. And uh, uh, so the pride, because the pride is coming from the ignorant, you know. Sometimes, even if you suffer, the suffering also is a cause of a, sometimes sometime it causes uh, the pride. So you always have a pride, in a, you know, and say that, I mean, the, the identify yourself and say, you know, I am. And that is also a form of a pride. You don't have to say, I am the best but you just say, I am, or I, is also a form of a pride, you know? Uh, it, it's it's a, maybe a subtle pride, but it's, it's a pride. So this is the thing that we have to get rid of, uh, to start with, you know? Um, and the, uh, just the basic, for example, basic notion of being there, the I being there, uh, uh, causes a lot of mess in your life. You know, then the then the I uh, become I am, and then it become mine, and it become yours, and it creates yours and you, and then there's a kind of a uh, dual kind of let's say uh, dual understanding or dualistic kind of concept, and that concept creates the anger and the desire, and uh, and uh, many unwanted uh, unwanted emotions. And all the unwanted emotions, of course, these emotions are again, um, uh, again, um, um, there uh, without knowing, without sort of like uh, realizing it. So therefore, you always get, uh, get trapped by these emotions. Uh, some of them are very good. Some of them are very nice emotions. Some of them are very pleasant emotions, uh, pleasurable emotion, I would say. And some of them are very bad, very negative. But negative and the good are positive emotions. All the emotions are equally uh, trap. I don't know, are equally a trap for you, because you you are trapped by that. And uh, sometimes you feel great uh, to have some kind of emotions. For example, some people they say that you know that if you don't have emotion, then you become vegetable. And it's true also in a way, but. Uh, uh, in, in another way, it, it doesn't really have to be emotion. It, it can be uh, wisdom. 
for example, like uh, emotion uh, to me, to, uh, to my knowledge, emotion means that uh, the, the emotion 